So the hair follicle is getting affected by, let's say, IU58841. But since it is not time to grow a new hair, it's still empty. And it will stay empty until day... What is up guys? Today we are gonna take a look at how long you can expect it to take before you will see any kind of results from taking something like IU58841, either minoxidil, finasteride or something else. But today we will just focus on the IU58841. So another trend I noticed going on is on stuff like Reddit or somewhere else on the internet. People are usually showing these kinds of progression before and after pictures and usually the time frame is something like one month or two months or something crazy like that and 14 days and he has some kind of crazy regrowth apparently. So the only issue I have with this is that it sets an unrealistic time frame for you guys when you are trying to do something about your hair loss. Meaning that when you see someone on the internet showing fantastic results after 10 days and you're sitting on your 20 days or something, when you don't get any kind of results, it's gonna be hard for you to keep on going. So today what we're gonna do is take a scientific approach to how long it's actually going to take before your treatment is going to yield any results. If you're new to my channel, what I usually do here is that I back up some kind of statement with some kind of scientific proof. And this is exactly what I did again this time. So I found a ton of interesting articles the link is down below in the description as usual. But of course, there were one article in particular that stood extra out in my eyes. And this is what we're going to talk about today. So the article we are going to take a look at today is an article from the Journal of Investigative Dermatology. The name of the article, A Guide to Studying the Human Hair Follicle in Vivo. This is a very well documented article on how you should perform studies on hair. One of the researchers, Maxim V. Plikus, I think that's how his name is pronounced. I'm not quite sure. Sorry if I butchered it. So Maxim has done several studies on hair follicles, in fact. So you must be at least more or less a white person to do this kind of study on how you should do studies on hair follicles. Because guys, at the end of the day, when you want to try and regrow your hair and you want to evaluate how it's going, you're actually more or less doing a very low level scientific study on your own hair. So that's why it's important to actually follow some of the procedures to do this in the right way when you want to evaluate if it's going forward or backward or whatever it's doing. So of course, I don't want to bother you by showing the whole article or just starting from the top and going to the bottom because that would just bore the out of anyone. But I want you all, or at least those who are watching this video, to take a look at this specific paragraph. So if we skip some of the boring stuff, you can see there's this text where it says, to evaluate the post-grafting human hair cycle, moreover because the majority of human follicles, hair follicles, enter the anagen stage five on day 92, studies on anagen should be performed after this time point. So what did this actually mean? Well, if you remember, I like to just use words we know and just flex them over into some other sentence. So hair follicles has several stages, but we can just focus on two stages today. The one is the anagen phase, as you just heard of, and the other one is the telogen phase. So the anagen phase, just like when we are talking about something anabolic or androgenic or something like that, ana, it is actually when the hair is still growing in the follicle. So it is in a anabolic phase or whatever we call it, a growing phase. At some point, your hair is gonna enter the telogen phase. Now there are some other phases before that, but we are just gonna stick to these two phases because it's what we're going to focus on in this video. So when the hair enters the telogen phase, it is actually dead and now it's just sticking out from the skin with a, an anchor, if you can call it that. And what's going to happen here is, as you saw in the study, when the hair enters a telogen phase, 
it takes around 92 days to enter a new antigen phase where it once again can start growing out. This means basically that if you ha have one of the hairs that is dead and just sitting there, it will take 92 days before a new hair is formed underneath and will come out. Meaning if you started some kind of treatment, let's say after 50 days or you, you started at day one, same day as it entered the telogen phase and after 50 days or 60 days, two months, you don't see any kind of improvement or it's not yielding any results. That could actually be because that your hair is still in the telogen phase. So the hair follicle is getting affected by let's say IU58841. But since it is not time to grow a new hair, it's still empty. And it will stay empty until day 92, more or less. But you think it is still growing. So when you saw that video after two months, well, might be luck, might be something, might be a scam, I wouldn't know. But if you enter your hair treatment in the wrong phase, it will take longer time. Now you, can you cannot predict this. But if you wait at least 92 days before you begin to evaluate if you're seeing improvement, then you know that in general, most of your hairs are back in the antigen phase and they have taken the effect. Now, if you begin to evaluate your hair after only 30 days, guess what? You probably won't have the full effect yet. This is why they talk about how long it takes before something takes effect. So let's just take a number example, let's say that 30% of your hair follicles right now is in the telogen phase. Now I'm not a dermatologist, so I don't know the specific number. I could probably find out, but this is not the point of the video. Let's just for the sake of thinking about it, say it's 30%. Now you're going to apply IU58841, finasteride, minoxidil, whatever you have, and just go full blown hair restoration on your head. Let's say after 30 days that you are still not seeing very much of an improvement. Well, let's say 30% of your hair was in the telogen phase. They haven't started forming a new hair shaft yet. So the treatment might actually be working super well, but you're not going to notice. So let's say after three months, you decide that this isn't working. It's not working, man. It's a sham. Well, it could actually just begin to start to work there and then you quit. And then all the new hairs that are beginning to form will fall out very shortly after and you start to see a shedding, which were actually the extra new hairs you would have gotten. But since you just skipped out, it all just fell apart. So guys, at the end of the day, don't trust in any kind of weird wonder treatment. Don't trust these videos where they say in 14 days you will have a bigger and better hair and yada yada yada. Because basically, if you read the studies I've supplied below and even the study that I'm focusing on today, you will see that it is more or less physically impossible unless you're some kind of freak human that isn't supposed to go bald at all in the beginning. That's all I have for you guys today. If you like the video, you know the drill. Comment, subscribe, like, whatever. Helps me out a ton. Until next time, cheers.